Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena, playing more Premier Draft Modern Horizons 3. And, I mean, Depth Defiler is a strong card. I think Flare of Malice is also pretty decent. Victimize is a bit of a build around. Collective Resistance, I was really impressed with this card when I played it. I don't think I'm excited to first pick it. Maybe you just take the Fanged Flames? Common Removal? I don't know about that. It is good. But Depth Defiler can really change the course of a game. I don't know. Double blue versus a single red? Collective resistance? Uh, green and red are the colors people everybody wants to play. All right, everyone wants to be the uh, Chrysalis deck. I'm going to try Depth Defiler. I don't know. Could be right, could be wrong. <clears throat> Uh, what is this? Yeah, no thanks. Could have a double victimized deck already if we'd been <laughs> thinking ahead. Uh, I think I'm okay taking a Hope Ender Coatle here. Like, yeah, Arcbound Condor is probably a better card, but this one is really good occasionally. <clears throat> and fine, usually, I think. Um... Doesn't tie me down too much to anything. I mean, Evolution Witness is probably a better card. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where things go. Let's just take another blue card. Um, Collective Resistance is here again. I think, though, you're okay taking two in the narrative because it's just good. Like, the, the Green-White Duel is fine. You know, all the DSCs are fine. Tempest Harvester is good, but not as good as Tune the Narrative. I mean, obviously these are more Eldrazi blue cards than Energy blue cards, but this isn't anything blue card. It's just nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm bad. Don't want this card. Um, Charge Bug would be okay, maybe, but I'll just stay blue for now, see what's up. Meddler is great. Right? Uh, no jet medallions for me. Uh, although the red-green fetch is kind of exciting as well. But no, you have to take the meddler. Okay, I mean, we have some decent blue cards. Nothing amazing. I don't know about Ether Spike. These usually go around pretty late. None of this stuff is really a huge signal. Yeah, I'll just take a Demon Inferior. Just... Decent blue removal. We'll see what's up. There was some good black in pack one, like maybe the Sneaky Snacker wheels, which would... Oh, what the heck? Kappa Cannoneer is great. This card just, like, if you have any artifacts, this just wins the game. Currently we don't, of course, but every time I watch a video where someone plays this, the, the YouTuber's like, well, I guess I lose, and then usually they do, so... I don't know. I'll, I'll take it. Gonna need to grab an artifact or two. Ooh, I kind of... Oh, these energy cards. I don't know. I think I'll take the blue DFC. But this is suggesting maybe some energy thing could be a way to go. This is, I guess, an artifact for Kappa Cannoneer. But I don't think that they synergize very well, really. Yeah. Still not sure what kind of blue deck we're playing. I guess I'll take... Boy, look at all this white. What the hell? It's all decent, too. But I don't think it, any of it plays especially well with blue. So now we get to see what wheeled out of the first pack, right? Yeah. I'd be okay with the Sneaky Snacker. I don't remember what else was there. <laughs> I remember there was a Transmogrant, but I'm not excited about that card. Oh yes, this thing. I'm gonna grab Jolted Awake. White looked like it might have been kind of open, and this is an energy card that can go well in blue-white energy. Speaking of. Riddlegate Gargoyle's nice. Yeah. 
Um. Hmm. I think I'll take the expel, right? Tempest Harvester is nothing special. I mean, but neither is expel, right? Yeah, let's let's take this. Let's just rely on Blue's tempo tools for that kind of thing. Uh. I mean, you don't really want any of this, right? I guess that red card was an artifact, huh? Hmm. Riddle Gate Cargo is an artifact as well, by the way. How many artifacts do I have? Two? Necrodominance, probably no. What is this? Oh, that's so hard. Um, Emrakul's Messenger is strong. We could take the Raptor, but red did not look open. I think it's just a Dog Umbra here. I mean, I don't know. Two mana flyer. Works out for this kind of deck, I guess. Yeah, we should be able to wheel one of these white cards, right? Let's grab the blue one. What is this? Thief of Existence. No, I'm not playing green. I believe Scurry of Gremlins is worth splashing. Like, we, we don't have a million energy cards, but we don't have none. And I'm not missing out on much here, really. I like... Oh, no, this is Shapeshifter. I thought it was another meddler. Um, Kozilek's Unsealing. We're not really doing that. I think I'm just going to take a, a Jeskai Land, which is beautiful. Teamerland? Jolted Awake? Again? Grab our first Sneaky Snacker? I don't think so. There is, like, a lot of black in this pack. I guess that's worth noting. I'm not very... white. I think I'm actually supposed to speculate on the Worm Coil Larva here. You never know. Plus, it's an artifact, right? Black looked a bit open before. That was a good pack to dip our toe into it. I guess just another tune the narrative. And a Riddlegate Gargoyle. Okay, so maybe the Worm Coil Larva is not going to pay off, but that's okay. Sink into super is lovely. I don't think there's any reason to take a nesting grounds. Yeah. All right. I'll see you later, Worm Coil Larva. Up to three artifacts, most of them Riddlegate Gargoyles. We should keep an eye out for those, I suppose, for the uh, Kappa Cannoneer. I mean, that's like Ward 4, doesn't it? Yeah, it's disgusting. Even even if we don't find anything to go with it, it's just like pretty difficult to deal with sometimes. Oh, and if you <laughs> if you happen to have a scurry of gremlins lying around, you can cast this, and it can haste in unblockably for five. Was kind of cute. It seems unlikely. Oh, a red white duel. Seems great for Scurry of Gremlins. Which I still want to try to splash. I don't think it really matters to organize things this way, but every so often I remember to try to do it so I have a better idea of how many lands versus spells I have. Didn't I play something like this last... Uh, my last draft was a few days ago. Didn't I play something kind of like this? Amped Raptor... Oh, jeez. I can't believe that wield! It was like there was one other red card in the pack, right? What the hell? I don't... 
I don't think I'm supposed to take it. I think I'm supposed to just take a Expel. Like, it's easily the best card in this pack. But I think we're more white than red. And so running a... Trying to splash a two-drop is very difficult. And this is... I just don't like this Shapeshifter at all. Maybe this artifact is a good cycling thing and it plays with the, the Kappa Cannoneer. I don't know. Copy Crook. Okay, I mean, I guess this can be an artifact. But I don't think it's going to be very good for us. Well, let me get the Copy Crook out of here, in fact. I mean, we could take the lightning bolt. Oh, glyph elemental. Yeah, this is just, I mean, look. It wants to be a green-white card, obviously, but it's still quite powerful. Difficult to deal with. There's nothing about our deck that means this will be awful. Yeah, we take the glyph elemental. <clears throat> it's a two-drop that is really a problem. Wrath of the Skies, the energy board clear. I do have enough late game. I think I could afford to be clearing the board. Right? Like, I have some draw and stuff. A couple of heavy dudes. I don't know. Maybe that's bad. Because I want to be, like, killing them in the sky quickly. You probably can't go too far wrong just taking a solar transformer. Energy and fixing, yeah. Jolted Awake number two? I don't think I really need, like, Proud Pack Rhino. It's not terrible. All right, put a shield counter on a flyer or something, or proliferate, I don't know what. Jolted Awake has cycling. I guess that's probably a good enough reason to take it. I mean, it's not crazy to try taking a 4-mana 3-3 flyer either, I don't think. What the hell? This pack sucks. Who authorized this pack? Party Thrasher is a decent card. We don't have much synergy for it. Who knows? Maybe we'll... <laughs> the next four packs will give us some synergy. Um, area Auxiliary should be quite nice. We're trying to curve out small creatures that fly. I love it. Gold Slith doesn't seem terrible. I don't know that I need Unfathomable Truths or a Bantland that badly. Yeah, just more two drop garbage, please. A red blue land that loves energy. I think we're supposed to take that over. Utter insignificance, right? Yeah. Conduit Goblin. Ugh. I'm not. I'm not red white. I'm blue. I can't do that. It's just too hard. I think a wing it is okay, but also so is a kite. I guess you take the kite. all sucks. Glimpse the impossible. Electrozoa? I mean, I don't think we want a wheel of potential. I do have a lot of energy, but actually, I mean, I guess Unicorn is fine as well. Probably better than Electrozoa, right? 
you can imbue it onto a, or bestow it rather onto a flyer. Okay, there you go. I have a four mana flyer if I want it. Two vexing baubles we have available. Very funny. So I don't think I ended up with very many artifacts. <clears throat> There's some in the sideboard. These baubles and goblins, goblin and worm coil larva. Five. I have an equipment, huh? What is that? Oh, the kite. That's true. Kite, I would not mind at all tapping for the... Um, the Cannoneer has Improvise, which is just like bad affinity. They decided affinity was too strong, I guess. But there is affinity in this set, too, so what do I know? Anyway, uh, lands, 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 lands. Where y'all at, my lands? Over here. So we have four duels. DFCs, I should say. Not all of them duels. We have the blue common and uncommon, actually. Sort of maybe no... Oh, wait, are these both uncommon? I thought there was... I thought each color had a common DFC and an uncommon DFC. And then each color pair also had one DFC. Or maybe each pair had... Both common and uncommon, I'm sure. Anyway, the blue ones both look like uncommon, so I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. I think one mountain should be plenty here, right? Just so that the Perilous Landscape can pick it up. We are we have two other DFCs and, like, a Solar Transformer. <clears throat> This is an enchantment creature, okay. Shapeshifter, get out of here. I don't have that much draw. Do I have any? I'm sure there's some. Ah yeah, that that's true. So that makes cards like Demon Furrier a bit weaker. Specific, well, and also the Messenger. I think a 2-mana two 2-1 two flyer is still good. But I suppose I have 2-mana two 2-2 two two flyers that also come with energy, so I do need a reason to run Emrakul's Messenger. And there's very few ways I have to draw multiple cards. Like... Play Emrakul's Messenger, and then on that or some later turn, also play Tune the Narrative is basically it. I mean, you know, these two cards could draw. I guess this could. I don't know. <clears throat> Emrakul's Messenger seems like one of the weaker cards. But I guess first, um, we should figure out how many lands we're running. So 14, 16, I have 20. Two of these being, four of these being DFCs count as roughly two lands, so call that 18. I mean, I don't think this deck wants 18 lands, does it? 17 should be plenty, so let's cut a planes. And I don't know that I want to go down to 16. Because we do have some expensive stuff. But I guess not that much of it, especially when you consider these Demon Fears always cost three or less. Yeah, maybe, maybe I do cut another land. <clears throat> Call this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a 16 land deck. We have a Solar Transformer for ramp as well. Emrakul's Messenger might, might on occasion make a... Uh, spawn token and what's what's the worst card remaining in the deck 
mean, I'm a little worried it might be Cannoneer, right? But I think with... I mean... Here's my artifacts, right? This one doesn't even really count. Well, I mean, okay. It doesn't count for Improvise, because it can. it's a mana rock that, like, okay, it can tap for mana or for Improvise, but not both, so the Improvise doesn't really matter. But it is still something you could play post-Cannoneer to get the unblockable attack in. This you don't really want to Improvise with, but... It's a really great artifact to play early and also one to play post cannoneer, give it lifelink, smash in for six or something, unblockable lifelink. I don't, even with only a very small number of artifacts, I think this is fine. Because it's just terrifying all the time, and it's, it's a 5 5 with Ward 4. It's just very difficult to kill. Blocks everything but Eldrazi beautifully. Gets in under the Eldrazi on occasion. And also, I mentioned the Scourge Gremlin synergy, right? The turn of ETBs, it's unblockable. Uh, so if you can haste it in, that's very valuable. I mean... Of my creatures that aren't flyers, <clears throat> um, we could actually look at that, right? Oh, it's more than I thought, huh? <laughs> I sort of thought it was just the Hex Gold Slith. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I have very few flyers. Depth Defiler? I don't have much colorless, but even if you don't kick it, it's still good. Good tempo play, right? Maybe I just don't need two Jolted Awake. I am a little... I have this dream in my head where I just pile up energy, Tempest Harvester discards a Cannoneer, and then I Jolted Awake on, like, turn four or something, right? That's my dream. But I don't actually have that much, like, big stuff for Jolted Awake to hit. You don't even get the ETB trigger on Death Defiler. Well, not ETB, the cast trigger. That's why you don't get it. It's not an ETB trigger. I don't know. We'll run with this. So what was the last deck I played? It was something in the energy space. Blue, red, splashing, white, I think? Yeah, this is... Oh, no. It was just... Blue, red, splashing, white. That was my win. I got seven wins. Then I went 3-3 three, three with Boros, no splash. I see. Waxor, or the ZWA Xor. I don't know. Looks sick. Have you even got an artifact? Esper. Okay, well, we don't know yet too much about that. Oh, what a beautiful draw. I've even got the tune the narrative for it. Amazing. And it means I don't have to play out the unicorn as a as a creature. I can save it for a bestow. The straw is amazing. Is so there black and either white or blue? Black blue is not anybody's favorite, so yeah, black white artifacts, okay. Unicorn. Oh my god, this is the sickest! I'm drawing exactly like I couldn't even ask for draws this good because I can't think of what they would be. But like, yeah, this is the perfect card. Oh, right. Bestow this on the 2-1, right?
And now I can bestow the unicorn? What the hell? <laughs> this should be illegal. I might still lose because, like, I don't know, blue-white's not the greatest deck or anything, but... How dare you. Oh, right, it can't fly. What an idiot. Sucker. Uh, if they ever modify it, it can. I could just play the cannoneer next turn. Sack the spawn. Is that good? Kind of seems good, doesn't it? I mean, putting bestow on this is putting a lot of eggs in one basket, but... Like, plus two, plus two, and menace? Mentor? I mean... Get in for six, eight? Puts them on a two turn clock? I think that's probably better than this, right? This is the hugest Emercool's messenger anybody's ever seen. Yeah, I agree. That was gross, opponent. You absolutely should resign in disgust. How dare I do this? The deck, that's going to be the best this deck ever does. This, this is not a normal performance for that deck. That was very good draws. Creatures, attacks, blue spells. Fine. <clears throat> yeah, a very good opening hand, and then very good draws. We still could have lost to some decks, but not that one, apparently. Can't keep this. No, no spells. I mean, I can play Tempest Harvester, but there's just not enough. No, we can do better than this. Great. I have done better than this. Chuck out the Meddler. Guess so. Annoyingly, I can't. If I want to play the gargoyle on two, I can't fetch red with this on turn one. I have to play like Plains Island, this, and then on turn three, crack this. I could crack non-red, but there's there's like what one red spell in the deck? Is that right? Hello, where's my untapped overlay? Uh, I mean, there's Scurry of Gremlins, and I think that's it. There's the blue-red duel that's a spell, but... And the red-white duel. Ah! <laughs> okay, I found my mountain. Never mind. I'm not going to just cast this for energy, of course. Ooh. Probably more important to just exile that than it is to... Well, no, I can cast the Gargoyle and then exile. It's not doing much right this second. Yeah, it's a scary card, but they're not like... Stuff's not dying right now. And the gargoyle blocks very nicely. Right, I found something better to exile, I guess. Kind of stinks that they're going to get um, the trigger, but what can you do? Uh... I guess we're playing this land, right? Whale? Oh, man. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> uh. I don't think I'm on the aggressive here. I think I have to block, right? Like, yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I need to survive this shit. Okay. There's the whale. get another island so I have sink into stupor available and let's see how much proliferating they can do I guess oh, okay 
Well, I mean, that's not a bad draw in some ways. Huh. <clears throat> I don't really know what to do here. <laughs> it looks sad. I, I mean, they're gonna... <clears throat> excuse me again. They're gonna tap out, I assume, to cast two spells. So Hope Ender Coatl should be good. I'm not attacking, and I guess I'm not chumping either. With Jolted Awake, chumping wouldn't be crazy? Was this, like, Sultai aggro? This should be illegal. Yeah, take seven. Alright, what are you gonna do to keep this whale alive? I can't stop the copy crook. Oh my god, they're going to make it another whale. <laughs> um, okay. A whale that connives. There's their second spell. They're casting this shit in the right order, which is the worst. Oh my god, they're proliferating twice! Oh, I shouldn't have let this resolve. I didn't think they could cast another spell, but of course they can. Okay, well, I mean, I can counter this, I guess. Oh no. Uh, Demon Inferior? I mean, it's too late. I'm the inferior one. Oh boy. I mean, I could play the Cannoneer. It's a 5 5 if I shock this land in. <laughs> oh no. I could Deem Inferior the 4 mana whale, I guess. Then what? Just lose. course. Oh! I've just realized what I should have done last turn. While the copy crook was on the stack, I should have bounced this whale, so it would have to enter as something else. I'm still dead. I can't believe I'm getting whaled on, man. A reef worm! They're, they're all marine and mammals! Well, okay, worm is not a mammal, excuse me. Alright. Now I can trade for their whale with one counter. Meanwhile, they just get another one. And if they can cast a spell for two or less mana, they proliferate and everything has a... Oh, they don't want it! Uh-oh. Is it a combat trick or something? No, they're gonna lose the whale. Okay. I mean, I can kill the reform and then bounce the token. I'm surprised they didn't attack. I don't know, I guess why would it why attack with this? It doesn't matter either way, right? I wasn't gonna block. Yeah, I'm not afraid of the reform at all. All my stuff flies. What am I worried about? So, I 
Oh, I don't want to let them play the copy crook as a cannoneer, do I? Hmm. So I don't necessarily want to jolt it awake yet. What are they saving this for, I wonder? It's very strange. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'm playing the Solar Transformer, and I'm not jolting anything awake, even though I could get the cannon here. So right now, I, like, I kind of have the board. I don't want to let them copy my cannon here, because I don't have a way to deal with it. So I guess I'm still just chilling. That's what they want to do with their turn, so they have an attacker. Oh, this is an instant. No, it's a sorcery. Oh, I could cycle it. I see. Right, that's why it's lit up. I mean, the 3-3 three, three is a problem. What is this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're just not going to commit the copy crook, huh? Well, pretty soon I'm going to have to play the cannoneer, and then I don't know how I'm going to survive. I would have liked to jolt it awake before I played the transformer, of course, but I needed the energy. How am I living? Like, what? Lifelink, I guess, right? How am I dealing with the Kappa, though, when they copy my Kappa cannon here? They're just waiting for me to play a good creature, and then they're going to copy it. I'd like to attack... And like lifelink and then play this, but I need the energy. Well, not really. But also, this is a terrible blocker for all of this stuff. So I don't think I can afford that attack. I guess I'm just playing this and hoping something good happens. It won't, though. This thing is just a big problem for me. I shouldn't have let them get the double whale. I don't know. Yeah, hit me again. They're just not going to commit anything because I haven't proven I can deal with what's on the board. Makes sense. I mean, I can attack for lifelink once. Maybe that'll scare them a little. But if I do that, then I'm not attacking for lifelink with the cannoneer, which was sort of the point. Okay, maybe what I need is an unblockable cannoneer swing, and I'll just have to deal with their cannoneer, sadly, some other way. Now they're going to copy the cannoneer, which I hate. They might, auto tapper might get them. It might tap too much blue. No, it looks like not. I mean, I could try the same silly trick when they when they play their copy crook. I could bounce my own kappa so they can't copy it. They're not casting it. What what trickery is this? They're gonna like bounce it or kill it at instant speed or something. I could have. 
equip to make this flying? Get a little, little more lifelink? But I think it's kind of fine to block here, to be able to block the 3-3. Let's just see what happens with this. Did I remember to attack with the 2-1 last turn, or did I forget? I don't know. I think I did. I attacked. Take action. You have lifelink. Go. Okay. Okay. Things happened. I mean, they can they can use this, yeah. Creature from a graveyard. Oh, they're planning to kill my cannoneer and then reanimate it. Somehow. Seems expensive. No, they just want the whale back. This is crazy, okay? They're copying the whale? Maybe don't have artifacts for the cannoneer, I guess. This is their first spell of the turn, and they're, like, tapped out here. I think I should just deny them the whale, but no, they, they can copy the cannoneer, which I think is fine for them. So I don't, I don't think that would be very good right now. Yeah, they are, they're really just whale gamers, huh? Okay. Well, we're chumping here. Are we? Yes, because I want to move the, the wings next turn. Swing in for 11. And then we're bouncing this whale. Maybe I can't swing in for everything. Is this the whale I'm bouncing? Why not bounce this one? It's the one that connives. It's more expensive. It would mean that if this one ever, like, fades out, vanishes, I guess, then this one can't do anything. Uh, then, then, like, they won't be able to make another whale. But, I mean, I guess the mana doesn't really matter to them, but the, the connive is pretty cool. Let's not allow that. Depth Defiler? Oh, that's so good. I even have Colorless. Although, I was planning to equip the Kappa, huh? I have seven mana. Definitely don't have nine. I mean, this would give me one more because of the spawn. If I hit a land, I can do both of these things? Right? No, because this costs six. If I'm kicking and, which I do want to do. Okay, I guess the Kappa can wait. Bounce this one. No, that just is easy for them to proliferate, I guess. Didn't hit a land. Nothing I can cast. Don't want the Slith, though, that's for sure. Oh, I can cast it. Oh, I could have cast the Slith and gotten energy. Hmm. Okay, well, it's maybe a problem. But I think I'm in great shape now. Somehow opponent just wasn't aggressive enough. Yeah, this gargoyle's insane, right? This is unblockable now. And then I have four more flying damage. That's game over. <clears throat> yeah, enjoy your whales, bro. I do not care. Oh, proliferated here, of course. I didn't notice that.
And the Kappa has Ward 4. It's literally illegal for them to target it. Well, they can target it. It would just get countered. They're just dead. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like they should have copied the Kappa, but I guess they didn't have any other artifacts. So it wouldn't have been as good for them, but just Ward 4. I mean, oof. Okay, well. I, I'm i kind of shocked we won that one. They were off to such a strong start with the multiple whales. And I, I do think it, I still think it would have been right to bounce the first whale while the second one was on the stack. Because the second one wasn't a whale, right? It was a copy crook. And what were they going to copy? This, probably? Or nothing? No, it's a zero, zero. What, what is it if you don't copy? It's a zero, zero. So, yeah. They would have had to copy something lame, like a marionette apprentice. Which could be a way to do some damage, but they didn't have a ton of creatures. I don't know. Well, happy to get away with it, I guess. A whale of a good time. A whale of a tail. I don't know. I just can't stop making whale puns. It's not even really puns. It's just references. They might have even appreciated me countering their 1-1. One -one. I don't know. Uh, this is fine. I'm relying on hitting some lands. But I can play Gargoyle on turn 2, which is about as good as we can ask for. Blue-black. Interesting. We need blue here. Well, I guess worst case I can hold up Counterspell, although I hope it doesn't come to that. Boo! Okay, I can play out a Unicorn then, I guess. Didn't didn't succeed in hitting a land in the in the top two. Sad, but that's life. Opponent does nothing for three. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll just like play out some dumb idiot creatures and hope they never do anything. I guess. Unlucky, they're doing something. My creature! Your creature. Oh, yeah, that's way better, obviously. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just die. Maybe they'll accidentally sack the Emperor of Bones. Unlucky. <laughs> I have a huge counter spell, though. That's the one good thing I can say about my position. Oh, they're probably just gonna be able to put more counters on this stuff. Uh, I mean, like, what do you like? You know, it doesn't matter that they're doing some great stuff. We're on two mana, and they're on five. We're not. It doesn't matter if their deck does good things. We're not gonna win that way. I don't like this. They're just gonna exile this, and oh my god! I mean, it's hard. A little hard for them to get more counters at least.
It must be nice to hear land drops. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. It doesn't happen to me. Sure. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay, we're in it. In with a shot, guys. Um, I mean, returning this just gives them license to re... You know, readapt it, but I can't let it keep hitting me either, really, right? And do nothing with all my mana. I mean, this is a game losing play, but so are all of my other plays, so. A thousand mana pass. Okay. Well, let's get in there. Yeah. I think you should have bounced this one, right? The spell. Here comes the Emperor of Bones. I mean, they're almost out of cards. Maybe that's how we could get there? I can't deal with the cards they currently have, though, is the big problem. <laughs> Was it Wumpus Aberration, I assume? Yeah, of course it was. You could have just animated it now, given Wumpus Haste, right? I'm not sure why you wouldn't. Now I get to Depth Defile you, I guess? Yeah, I think they made a big mistake there. I'm not saying it's enough for us to win or anything. But now they, they missed an attack for 6 damage. They could have animated the Wumpus Aberration immediately. Doing it now doesn't do anything. You can do it if you want. It doesn't have reach, does it? Yeah. Why are we cracking now? It doesn't matter, I guess. I'm just curious. Okay, let's race. I really appreciate being at nine life instead of three, let me tell you. Any good creatures left in graveyards? None there, none here. Okay, the Emperor of Bones is a little bit offline. I can bestow the flyer and attack with both of these having four power? Emperor of Bones can't block the three five that way. Would be hitting for five, assuming they chump. Maybe just Petrifying Meddler is better? I'm not sure. We might have a shot now. The Path of Annihilation so far has been four mana do nothing. And they really screwed this up. They're just going to adapt now. Wow. Okay. What's that all about? To punch? Okay. Yeah. That's that's a bit of a problem for me. Ah, so they can get the airy auxiliary. I see. But now they don't get to reanimate it easily. Ooh, an artifact. Hmm. They, they still could reanimate it, but not easily. Hmm. Solar Transformer could get Scurry of Gremlins online in a couple turns. And then I could do the Kappa Haste trick I've been talking about. But I also want to, like, get the Meddler out there. Yeah, I don't know. That's tricky. A 
I'm gonna try this. Just get more creatures, get some attacks. What I'd really like to do is top a land so I can play Transformer and then um, and also bestow the Unicorn on the same turn. So I don't know. It's more mana efficient and the Unicorn doesn't really do anything unless it bestows. Okay, that's not that good for them. It's not like bad or anything, but better better cards they could be playing. Oh, it exiles any card, but yeah, okay, sure. Deem Inferior. Now that's a card. What exactly would I wish to Deem Inferior? Probably this. Swing in for eight, seven. And also develop the transformer so I can scurry next turn. I think that makes sense. Shut off their lifelinker and their only blocker. You can hit me for four if you want. I mean, they can still chump with a zero one, but. But this, this gives them access to more cards as well, which I definitely do not want. They're one a big Eldrazi away from stabilizing, so... And Scurry of Gremlins could easily be a surprise lethal. If they attack, they're in a lot of trouble. Because I'll have 12 energy. Hmm, 11, because I have to pay one for red. Soren, I don't think is going to do it. Only the best for House Markov. No reason not to play a land, so let's do that. I have enough white that I can play the unicorn, but not bestow it. That'll give me the extra energy. From Scurry of Gremlins. And then I, th I think we're just gonna win? Oh, I even get to mentor something. That's nice. I didn't see that coming. Is this lethal? Five, eight, twelve. They get one life link. It is lethal. So don't don't mess with things when you have lethal. Just <laughs> another shocking win. I feel like this Emperor of Bones sh like should have done a little bit more. The main thing it should have done was hit me for six, right? That was their huge blunder. They missed six damage and I'm at five. I could have been a little bit more conservative if I'd been you know, a six less life, right? I didn't have to attack with everything last turn, so I could have um, held back a blocker for Emperor of Bones. So I think I could have lived even through the six damage blunder, but they maybe had other turns when if I had been at six lower life, they could have attacked and put me under some more pressure. I don't know. It seems like their deck... When I saw the bleed, the... The Bleen and the Grack, I guess. Um, I thought Emperor of Bones was going to be able to get counters all the time, but... And, like, this play is so gross that they got to do that so early, but... They just ran out of gas? Like, Path of Annihilation did absolutely nothing for their deck? I can only assume they were sitting on some big Eldrazi that they couldn't draw. Huh. Well, I'll take it. Three zero, three zero.
I mean, this is definitely a keep. I guess it's kite into gargoyle, right? Even though we can't clearly... We don't have a great time to play this land. I think it's obviously better to play out the kite turn one than it is to play this tapped and make sure I have my three drop. Like, I don't even have anything I really want to do on three. Oh, plus there's this combo, right? Draw two for three mana and then Demon Furrier for just one. You have to play two energy? Two energy. What is this? Idol of False Gods in blue-green. Okay. So we're going to have to be quick about this game, probably. Really could use a land here. No land. I guess... Oh, uh... Sure, I can obviously tune the narrative first, I suppose. It is a land. So now I could deem this inferior for two mana, which has got to be worth doing, right? You don't want them ramping into their, like, Eldrazi next turn, I don't think. I don't have blue. That's illegal. Bad player. Well, but it, it was still worth it, I think, to... This Rush of Inspiration play later? I don't know. Decline. I hate this. Okay. Land? Yep. Oh, of course. It would be a fetch land. God. If I'd had that land, I could be like holding open Hope Ender Coatl and just absolutely ruining this. All right, I could have countered this because they would be greedily not playing their land first. Okay, they missed whatever it was. They don't have to reveal? They get to look at? I thought it was reveal and then... Okay, I only get to see it if they choose to. Okay, fine. Well, we can deem this inferior, I guess. With this in hand, I mean, I guess I just want more blue, right? I can use my red as blue, sort of, to cast this spell. And if I do hit Scurry of Gremlins, I'd like to have the red. And this is, like, two of my, like, four red sources, so I really should take red if I can. And I... I no, I have the Solar Transformer as well. I mean... I... I do think I... Should take the mountain. It's a little scary. Alright, well, I need to hit like a, an island here, right? Why would I manually tap that? Good question. I could just deem that inferior, but I think I need to do more. I don't know. I need I need to get lucky. I'm hoping I hit an island. I didn't. I did hit Scurry, though. That's something. You know what? Take a random card. It's my Scurry! <laughs> Boo! I figured the energy would be pretty... Like, I might be able to lethal them next turn if I could Scurry... Mm. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Artifact or creature? Scurry's an enchantment, huh? Well, okay, see you next game, I guess. I was, I was, like, I could have paid the energy. I also sort of hoped it might discard one of my creatures, which I could then jolt awake. Like, I, I think I needed to take some risks to win this game. And I took some risks, and they didn't come in. And 
now I'm gonna lose the game. But if I had played riskless, risk-free, I think I would still be losing, yeah? What can we do that would accomplish anything? I feel like the answer is nothing. I could deem this inferior, get in for three, take seven. I gotta hold up Hope Ender Coatl. They have a thousand mana. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to remember, is there some hexproof trick in green? Collective resistance. They were just thinking about whether to top it or bottom it. Okay, they topped it, fine. I really don't want to pay two energy for two life. Manatithe, got him. <laughs> okay, tapping very carefully to hold up double green for something. What's that all about? Collective resistance, maybe? It's the only thing I can think of that wants a lot of green for very little mana. Huh, weird. I mean, I gotta say, it looks like I'm still dead. No surprising developments. I'm now thinking I will pay two energy for two life, though, so that's an exciting change in, in things. And uh, I'm just gonna hope a miracle happens with Hope Ender Coatl, maybe. I don't, or, or Ether Spike? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have paid the energy because of Ether Spike? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's all hopeless, right? I'm kidding myself. I think I'm going to live through this. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's annihilate my plane. Maybe I should have picked a permanent so I could jolt it back, or a creature so I could jolt it back to lake. Scurry of Gremlins would have been pretty cool to have in hand right now. <clears throat> they can pay four. I mean, I can, I can get five energy and counter this, I guess. Oh, if only I had another land, <laughs> I'd still be dead. <laughs> uh, all right, slith me, I guess. I mean, the trampler's a real problem. Slith for energy so I can gain some life. Chump here. Oh, this gives, oh, right, I, I have to cycle this. Should have done that before playing my land, I think. Well, I've already played my land, so if I cycle this now, I won't be able to do anything. All right, pay that energy, please. This creature. I think 
I'm still dead to attack all? But if they hold back the 1 3, they don't kill me, I believe. Take five? Don't you look like a dummy for not swinging at one three? Like, what was I gonna do to it, right? Well, maybe I should have sacked this so I'd have more mana and, like, the kite's not doing anything. That probably would have been better. Doesn't matter. Still dead. Got them shockingly low, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess you're just going to be at 100. Yeah, very cool. Hey, it's a land. All right, I get to cast a creature spell and bonk them for three. You can have a counter as well. I don't have to do that. That's just my generous nature. Good game. You should have killed me last turn, though. I don't know. Maybe that is committing too much. Did I have fun? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I kept an open, an open mind. I knew I was losing the whole time, but I was very upbeat about it. Um... Maybe since they have this to stabilize, it makes sense for them not to commit to trying to kill me. Yeah. Because I, I could have had something that would have lived there, and then swinging with everything and not being able to play this could have been embarrassing. If I had, like, Scurry of Gremlins or something, maybe I could kill them. So yeah, you're right. You're right not to kill me last turn. You know your hand better than I do. Well, can't win every game, but hopefully we can win every draft. I'm in it for seven. It's Ivan Gerf, Ivan GRF. We'll never know. Yeah, I mean, I've got a two-drop and a three-mana cool spell, I guess. Nice. Although, I don't think I cast it yet, right? I think it actually does make sense to hold this up for Messenger. It's going to be a while until I cast this, but I, I'm not in a hurry to draw anything or gain any energy. Gruel. So we're expecting some big mean Eldrazi. And they might very well tap out for a Chrysalis on turn four, so this counter could do something. Whoa, never mind. Okay, maybe I'll tap out for a seven drop turn four? Okay. Pretty cool. For you? I really hope they play a land and and then just play, you know, one of those seven mana common Eldrazi. Yeah, they'll get a spawn, but I'll get to kill this. To counter it, rather. I'm going to have to flash this in even if they don't cast an Eldrazi, because otherwise I'm not doing anything. Hit me. Seven. Tusker. Warp Tusker. Warp Tusker. Titan's Vanguard they can pay for, sadly. Okay, but I want... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just tax them, I guess, because like I said, I'm playing this anyway. May as well make them pay one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I could draw and then Deem Inferior, but if I don't hit specifically an island, that won't work. So 
So I think we just go for the Demon Furrier. God, the draw is even going to give me a spawn, but... I mean, the, the chances I hit an island are so low. I just have to keep tempoing. I can tune the narrative next turn. Top, I assume? Yeah, okay. Well, in the meantime, we're bashing in for four. And they spent most of their spawns on that, so... Maybe they don't have some huge beater, but probably they have a Chrysalis, right? Meddler is... I mean, it could be worse. Not a lot worse, I guess. This does have reach. Airy Auxiliary doesn't really do it for me. I guess we tune the narrative, and then I can still play Airy with the spawn this gives me. Play this as a land. Then I can deem their reach creature inferior and bash in for a bunch of flying is the plan to kill them, I guess? Good. Too scared to attack. That's how we like them. I don't even have to deem it inferior, actually. I could play this. The petrifying Meddler. Kappa's not really doing anything, I don't think. But, I mean, I'm threatening 9 damage. I think Petrifying Meddler pretty much takes that thing out of the running. You. Yeah, looks good, I think. Could still lose, but with Team Inferior, it's hard to imagine. It would have to be a board clear of some kind. I don't think this is going to do it. This is like a Tusker or something. Null Drifter. Okay, yeah, GG. Didn't even let me show him I had another Team Inferior. Okay, I mean, I was a little afraid of the Eldrazi, but... Worked out. Pretty scary start, too. I mean, I don't know. They didn't do anything on two, one, two, or and on three, all they did was ramp. So, and, and the ramp was, like, spawns, not lands. So when they spent it, it was gone. Just, like, a solid tempo hand. I'm still not sure about this tune the narrative play. I did eventually cast it at a time that it got me a spawn. But I wouldn't have needed the spawn if I hadn't cast the tune the narrative that turn. So I feel like a turn one tune the narrative would have worked out better than what I did. Hmm. It probably would have been right to play a turn one. Because, like, best case, what I'm hoping is that the one mana I spend on it comes back to me as a spawn. Whereas, of course, it could come back to me, like, hmm... There certainly are cases where it could help. Like, let's say on turn four, I had nothing to do but play a three drop and a spawn. N not a spawn. And, and tune the narrative, getting a spawn. Then I've kind of gotten a spawn for free. And what it's cost me is that I didn't draw a card until later, so I had fewer options earlier. But in exchange, I have one extra mana on, like, turn six, uh, five. Because I was saying turn four is the turn I might play it, for example. 
So, but you know, the downside is I might, I might need the colored mana. As it turned out, I did. I didn't have enough islands. Um, I guess yeah. If I put off casting tune the narrative, I can always just cast it again, cast it to like cash in the spawn. It looks like, right? So it looks free to delay that. But it isn't because I'm short of blue sources. Yeah, I don't know. It probably was, I think, actually right to hold off on it. Because it's only it only hurts if I'm short blue sources specifically. And it doesn't seem unreasonable that it could gain. But I did know that it was going to be a while before I cast it. And so maybe just casting it turn one to make sure my hand... Uh, you know, do the draw early rather than late so I have more options would be a good idea. But I, I don't know. I had I had good ideas for what to play on turn two and turn three, and it seems reasonable to hope that by turn four I would either have another play or be willing to cast to the narrative. But the fact that I didn't draw any islands meant that didn't turn out. Okay, this looks good. Rush of Inspiration as... A land... Mm, no, wait, that doesn't work. If I want to cast the Gargoyle on two. Okay, so landscape, crack for white, shock the specimen, Gargoyle. Yuck. But then I maybe get to cast Rush of Inspiration in the future, which is nice. We want white, right? Yes, I have blue. That's a, that's a trap. Don't play that card. Shock this bad boy in. Okay, I'm just gonna tune. So we expect white or red as their next color. There's the white and a gargoyle. Okay. Another blue source, but it's not another white source, which is what I would like to cast both of these. Steam it inferior, I guess. It's not incredible, but it's fine. So, we have the cheap, like, Demon Furrier plan here. The problem is they don't... <laughs> they don't have something I really want to Demon Furrier. So, maybe I just play Solar Transformer and Kite? Save that play for later? Yes. Still decline. I'd happily block their 2 1 if they attack. This germ is just a germ to me, it's nothing. Witch Enchanter? My artifact? That's really rude. I don't want to deem that inferior either. With 
one more mana, I could kick this. Okay, I mean, I guess... I guess we're going to deem that inferior. Mm. Colorless, I guess, right? So that I have white mana in case, I don't know, something happens. Seems unlikely. Jolted Awake, I guess. Yeah, that's why we're doing it this way. Absolutely pay. Hit an island, which is excellent. Sadly, I didn't I already drew my second card this turn, but still a good play. And I'm happy enough to give them back the Witch Enchanter. It's just really expensive to play again. I guess let's attack first. Not that it matters. Like a 4 mana 2-2 two, two, that's what? Blowing up a kite or something? Maybe I give them back the Tempest Harvester? I think they'd welcome the energy. I don't know. Go away. It's not an artifact. The kite's an artifact. Top? Yeah. They're just going to play it again this coming turn? Four mana to blow up a kite and get a 2-2? Two -two? That's fine, I guess. Discarding a unicorn, huh? Uh-oh. Well, I guess I have a... Oh, God, they get that trigger already because they're stupid landscape... Or, oh, fetch! It's not even a landscape. Another non-token permanent. Hmm. Well, I hate this. I wish I could deem that inferior, but I don't know. I think it made sense to try to, like, tempo things. I don't know. Turns out it's going to go really badly for me, though. So... I could equip the kite and swing as a 3-1. Get in for 3. That would be cool. The problem is next turn they're just going to blow up the kite. It'll be back to a 2-1 and I spent my whole turn doing basically nothing. So I think it makes more sense to just do this. And I think bounce their token sadly. That's something. Not much, but something. I'm really regretting giving them back the witch enchanter already. I don't know. I could have waited. Demon Fury was going to be good eventually. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I was like... I can cast it for one mana! But it was just a bad card to play, even if it were free. Oh. They discard the Witch Enchanter. Okay, that's not so bad. It's a little scary, though. What the heck are they keeping? Fault Storm Angel. Okay. I can kill the Genku if they attack. I don't think they would. Okay, the narrative will be tuned. Tap the island just in case I somehow get this returned to my hand, I guess. Hmm... 
sink into stupor the Genku? I guess. And then I can swing with my 2-1 and my 3-5. They'll know something's up, but that's okay. I guess Autotap's going to do a fine job here. I mean, actually, I could try blocking the Boltstorm Angel, right? What if I equipped the Depth Defiler and started swinging? Then they're going to give this lifelink. I think I need to try to kill this on blocks. Can I afford to do this as well? Five, six, seven, eight. I think so. This is sort of a... Oh, I should have tapped it. I should have tapped colorless here. I guess it's fine. These are colorless as well. But no, now I need energy to do this. Yeah. Bad play. I could push for damage. Well, actually, what I can do is this. Because if they actually do block, I'm pretty happy. And they probably won't. It's such a suspicious attack, right? And I can still, like, threaten to kill it on blocks with the 4 6. Really, really bad taps, though. Okay, I mean, they're main phase digging, which I appreciate. Static Prison. Uh-huh. Well, I can bounce my guy, I guess, in response. Not what I wanted to do. And it costs me energy just because I let Autotap do its thing, but I get this back, which is pretty... Oh, and opponent controls! That's pretty sad. Um, GG? <laughs> I, I think I'm dead. Like, this is a disaster and a half. Okay. You got it. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, I might have to bounce it anyway, which is pretty sad. They'll just get a token and then I'm gonna like die. I hate this. They can even just replay it this turn, get more energy. But if they gain four life, like what am I supposed to do? This sucks. Enjoy your token. I'll throw my energy in the garbage for no reason. Man, that attack with the 2-1 really hurt. If I had just held back with it, I would have had a great combat trick. I got too greedy. Okay. Well... Problem is I can't re-equip the kite, so I still don't have any attacks. What else could I do? Spend four mana kiting this, and then... Have a combat trick as well, I guess? Sure. 
Let's let them be worried about every color of combat tricks. They should know I have a combat trick here, and given that I know they should know I have a combat trick here, I should expect one from them as well for attacking. But I kind of have no choice but to block, and also they might just be bad and not have one. I guess a good player like this, this play should never work. I don't know, maybe they want me to spend the trick. They figure they want to gain the life anyway. Jokes on them, they don't gain the life, but I think they're gonna have something here. They're blue, right? No? Nope. Blue always has some kind of interaction that makes you unhappy. The problem is this Genku, like, what am I supposed to do with that? I've already cast my one exile. Now they can just tap down my flyer. I have, like, Petrifying Meddler to, like, I don't know. It doesn't really do very much. Ooh. Oh, but they're just going to start tapping it down, right? I was thinking, like, this isn't even big enough to get through all their tokens. Now I could Mentor, and it would be. But they'll just, they have a thousand, they'll, they'll just tap it, and they can do anything they want forever. I can play Petrifying Meddler to tap this so that I get in, like, one attack, but this is miserable. I'm so dead, and yet, like, I don't know. Oh yeah, my overlay still isn't working. I can't check my deck. I don't think I have much that gets out of this. I don't know. What else can I do? Make this a flyer? Kind of a funny idea. Let's go with this. Tap a token. Let's me get in for three, and then I can, like, make this bestowed? I don't really see that as being good enough. But maybe somehow. Am I winning by decking? No, there's still like 18 cards left. <sighs> I mean, I think I can probably concede here. My deck just does not have enough top end to resolve this situation. Go check whether there was something I wasn't thinking of. But, like, I already played the Depth Defiler. Kappa Cannoneer. Yeah, maybe I could have gotten... But they could have... Well... Between that and the Wing, the Kite, maybe I could have gotten enough unblockable damage. But the Kite isn't unblockable. They just have a thousand one two flyers. Kappa Cannoneer could get in, but they can tap it down indefinitely, even with the Ward 4. Scurry of Gremlins, they had too many blockers. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I was ever getting out of that. Huh. Alright, four and two, not bad. Let's see how it, how it wraps up. Hopefully not right away. Wow, who knew there was a Glyph Elemental in the deck? 
I'll take it, right? This is obviously a keep. I'm just not sure how to order stuff. I think we probably play this as a land. Turn two, I don't even know. Gosh, these two are a nice combo as well, huh? I have no idea which two drop to play here. Not the Glyph Elemental, you'd like to play that next turn. I think for that reason you want to play the Solar Transformer so that you can play the Glyph Elemental and then a land and still not waste mana because you play another two drop. I'm not sure which of these to play. I'm thinking the Harvester over the Flyer because um, then I could play the, oh, this bestows, I forgot. Oh, that is a lot better when it bestows. Hang on. Maybe my plans should change for that. It would mean I'd be missing the landfall trigger. Bestowing it is really good, though. Okay, let's just play out both blue spells, I guess. Then you can bestow on the flyer, get a landfall trigger. And I still have Jolted Awake if they manage to like kill this or this. I keep forgetting this can bestow. That's like one of the main reasons it's good. Yeah, no blocks. Gonna kill something? Surely the flyer. No, kill nothing. That's a little annoying because now if I try to bestow something, they can kill it. And like, I still get the glyph elemental, but I won't get the bestowed creature. Ooh, That's not bad. I don't have to play it now, but I could. Nah, I want to get this going. I actually think I should put it here because I don't want them to kill this. I want them to kill this. And that turns this into like a threat that can actually do something, whereas this already is. Attack first. I might just exile this thing because it can do a decent amount of damage. But I'm worried they're gonna have some. I'm like, and it has unearth, right? But I'm worried they're gonna have something more serious. I don't. I don't really care that much about a two three. I think. Yeah, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I mean, it's still a 3-3. Three, three. That's pretty cool. Okay, I guess I'll kill the messenger. Uh, maybe I should kill the, the elemental. Although this... 
Returns it to the battlefield, so it wouldn't be... It, it can't bestow no matter what, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that all resolves. I think this is kind of unnecessary at this point. Like, I just want a flyer. No, this actually can get out of control. And it's currently blocking nicely. Plus, this one's better to reanimate. <laughs> Knock it off! Okay, I guess I'm exiling the 2-3 after all. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I have triple white if I spend a little bit of energy. Let's make sure we tap correctly. I think it was doing it right, but... The rest of this I can all do bef Well, I guess I may as well gain the life, right? They're gonna be trying to pressure me, I assume. I don't know, maybe I should be saving up for Scurry of Remlins? Playing more creatures is still good. I could actually have saved an energy and sacked the spawn. If I had tapped differently for Expel the Unworthy, sacked the spawn instead of tapping a... No, I needed three white sources. Deem Inferior, huh? That seems good. I don't want them trading with one of my flyers. Or double blocking this, for that matter. Probably bottom. It doesn't seem like that good a card right now. But I don't know what's in their hand. If they have a bunch more artifacts, it looks pretty good. Okay. And my life total doesn't look so relevant anymore. So I guess I'll decline this. I might regret that. Because it's, it's basically like saving energy for something like Scurry of Gremlins and not much else. Oh, it's a 4-4. I don't really care about that. That's great news. Cool. Uh, no reason to play this pre-combat, right? Well, actually, there totally is. Yep, tap like that, please. Shh, I mean, this is lethal, so no thanks. Okay, made it to five. Did I finish all my dailies? I must have. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 
I mean, I didn't end up needing the life, but I didn't need up, end up needing the energy either, so you can't really say whether it was right or wrong to pay. It all de would depend on me drawing different cards, right? Something, or them doing something different. In the situation we were in, it didn't matter. Oh, what is the name of this card? It's like a, it's some well-known commander staple. I don't know what it is. It's a hippogriff, but also there's some, it's like a, a card with three creature names stuck to it or something. Oh, it's, it's one of those, like, group hug cards, isn't it? Where, like, everybody gets something good from it, but its owner gets more or something? What is that? I don't know. MVD Commander Card Hippo. Zarium's Griffin? Is that, oh, Hippo? Is that, is that a card? Or is Zarium the name of a player? Zarium Golden Wind is a Griffin. Okay, that creature must be a Griffin. Uh, I believe we want a land here. Um, but I could also maybe be convinced that it would be nice to have this as a creature. And the opportunity cost of three life is maybe not that big a deal. So, you know what? Let's play out of planes. Or an untapped land in this case. Um, an island. Where is it? There's no such thing. It's a hippo and a griffin. What is that card called? I don't know. Well, there are only four, six hippos in the universe, and none of them are that thing, so I must be wrong about it. Maybe that's just a rampaging hippo? Anyway, where am I? Uh, planes. And... Hardwell? I don't know. Maybe it's better to play this. Who knows? Bones blue black. That this is what the Emperor Bones guy let off with, right? Man, I there I know this this is some there's a hippo that's like a commander staple. I don't know. But its name and type are not hippo or something. It's a mystery. Snacky sneaker. I've been snuck. Hmm. Well, I'm going to just hold up the Coatl, I guess. By the way, this is an artifact. In case anyone was unclear on that. No. No whales. I was traumatized by the first pair of whales I encountered. Mm. Well, okay, we'll shock this guy in, it turns out. Mentoring here, I guess. I don't know. They're both two twos. Uh, do I pay the energy? Four life does seem kind of cool, doesn't it? But I have scurry of gremlins, but I can't cast it, so I don't know yet. Let's let's pay. Just so my life total doesn't become a problem. They might kill one of these guys, and I would lose the ability to. to get much life in the future, so cash it in while you can, I guess. And we can now go over top their snacker with, with these guys are both too big to be blocked usefully by it. So <laughs> Okay, let's go. Turns out I should have waited to pay. This represents lethal next turn. I'm sure they're going to do something cool, but hopefully... I mean, they probably won't even die this next turn. Oh, well, that kind of... Mm, hmm. Some kind of sacrifice a creature to kill something? That's for two mana, right? One mana, actually. It's lethal throwdown or something? Kappa Cannoneer to the bin. We love when we make them scared. Go 
to combat? Even killing one five five does not stay alive. Yeah. Well, I mean, I ended up having to play this as a land, and so I'm down three life compared to if I had played it as a tap land on turn one. But I don't mind the three life, and I, you know, welcomed the possibility that I might be casting it as a spell instead, even though things didn't go that way. All right, the final boss, six and two. Do I have this enabled? I don't think I do. I have, none of the cards are too small to read. Like, they're small, but they make it scroll if if it gets really small. I don't know. Maybe I do have it turned on. Finn Baylor. I don't know what this refers to. This, oh geez, only blue spells and only planes, but Solar Transformer could be my blue for three spells. You know, I think that's good enough. Hopefully we top an island sooner rather than later, but this is a decent hand. Maybe. It's not what I want to be spending my energy on, but you know, it's something. Uh, that's cool. Definitely playing that as a land. The question is, are we shocking it? And I guess the answer is obviously not. Are you crazy? If I were deeming this inferior, it would make sense. But I'm not, right? I'm just like end of turn coddling and hoping it counters something, or maybe playing Ether Spike instead. Ah, if I shock it, I'll have more energy for Ether Spikes. My life total probably matters against green white. Hmm. Let's, I don't have that many uses for energy. Let's get that tap land in there. As a tap land. Just let me counter a Chrysalis. You'll get the two spawns, but... I would love to get a Chrysalis out of it. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, if they cast a Chrysalis, I'm sad even if I get to counter it. Ugh. <laughs> Pay three to counter this? I think I have to. So, I don't know. I could have given up a little life to... Ooh. Uh... Well, I guess I'll just dump the rest of my energy. Kind of sucks, but... I don't even know which modes I'm choosing. Bouncing their creature looks okay. But so does drawing and discarding, right? Like, this guy is cheap enough to replay. The big play they might want to make costs four, not five. But they would have played Chrysalis if they had it, right? So maybe they do have some five or seven mana thing they're waiting for. I don't really understand their deck, by the way. What the hell is this? Green, white, red, black. I don't know what to expect from them. So let's just say they might need the mana fixing. All right, get out of here. Uh, 
They just replayed this, huh? That's very interesting. I have six mana. What if I... What if I just try to push in with this guy for damage, right? Shock this land in, bounce their guy again. I don't even have to shock, do I? I can play as a tap land. Bottom, okay, that makes sense at least. I don't know. I mean, they have a lot more cards than I do. Oh, they found their swamp. Rude. Okay. I don't think I'm going to cycle this, but I guess I could if I had to. Problem is, I can't really jolt this awake, right? What are you doing? You're exiling it? No. My thing. Well, double blue looks tough for them. They'll need some more colorless. Oh, I can tap this. <laughs> I can counter this. Nice. So you get for waiting till my turn to do this. Instead of doing it while I was tapped out last turn. Okay. Punished for bad play over there, I think. I mean, it looks like they were having some some kind of mana issues as well, and so I'm glad I fought over their mana dork. Uh, but, I mean, if they had just cast this on their turn instead of mine, I think they would have still been in it, right? Death Defiler being on their side instead of, well, they didn't have the mana to recast easily. But still, Death Defiler not being on my board would have been a lot worse for me. They let me counter it. Okay, got lucky. I mean, a dubious keep. I spent every drop of energy. I guess if I needed more, I could have just, like, cast Jolted Awake for two energy. But, all right, energy. There you go. Blue-white blue, blue white tempo again. Flyers? Flyers tempo? Sure. I guess that's what we could call the deck. Kind of boring, right? Flyers tempo? Boring. Boring flyers tempo. Flyers with a Y. I think with a Y, they're, they're pieces of paper. With an I, they're birds? Is that right? What's the difference, dictionary? I think flyer with a Y. Less common spelling of flyer. One that flies. And it says flyer with a Y usually... Is an advertising circular. Flyer with an I is the same. So, okay. It's usually spelled flyer with an I, unless it's an advertising circular, in which case it's a, with a Y. But in both cases, it has the same definition. So either really can be either. Uh, but if you mean a thing that flies, you should usually use an I, I guess. Anyway, we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.